today we are starting on page 60 in our journeys practice book and at the top it says adjectives for color it says listen to the directions read along and color each picture so number one just says to color the cap blue so remember these are all adjectives color words are adjectives so when you say something is blue or black or orange or green or white that is an adjective so the first one you're just going to color the cap blue Get out your blue, and you're going to color it. Color it nice and neatly. Okay, try to do your very best coloring. Okay, the next one says color the toy. Yellow. So color the toy duck yellow. Let's do our very best coloring. I think I'm looking around and see a few people are scribbling a little bit. Don't scribble. You're in first grade now. Do your very best coloring. Okay. Stay in the lines. You get look nice and neat. Number three says to color the ball orange. So color the basketball orange. Number four. What does that say? Can someone read that one for us? Mason. Number four. That was number three. What about number four? Color the apple red. Good. You can go quick, but still take a time. If you take your time, do a good job. It is possible to do. The last one, number five, what does number five say, Amelia? What does the sentence say, though? It doesn't say that. Color, it says color, they all start with the word color. Color the bug black. So you're going to color the bug black. It is a spider, yeah. All right. So finish up with those coloring, and then we're going to move on very soon. I'm going to give you another minute or two to color. Complete each sentence. Choose an adjective from the box to tell more. So. We have big, bad, sad, many, good, funny, ten, red, hot, mad, tan, wet. Those are all adjectives. They're all describing words. So we're going to find, read these sentences and then put them in the sentence that they should go in. So number one, Dad and I get on a bus. Dad and I get on a blank bus. What word from up here could we fill in that sentence with? Claire? Big, good. Dad and I get on a big bus. Big. Yes, Tommy. What? Okay, then throw the box away and just get a bag over there. Okay? But do it quickly because we're moving on. Yes, Isabel. Yes, you can. Yep, you can cross that big. Number two, we go to a park. We go to a blank park. What's a word that we could use to describe the park? I'm trying to make it make sense. What do you think? Taylor? Yeah. A wet park? No. I'm trying to do a different. Yeah, but that's but they're never called wet parks. I've never heard of one called a wet park. Owen, what about you? A good park. Yeah, that's a 
describes a good a park, we go to a good park. But fun's not up here. Funny is. But a park can't be funny. Number three. We see a man with pets. We see a man with blank pets. Christian K. With what? What'd you say? Oh, let's think of a different one. That's not, I feel like there's a better one. Logan, what about you? Um, I guess we could use funny. Yeah, we could say. Yeah, or many. I think many would probably be better. We see a man with many pets. Yeah, let's do many. Don't forget to, don't forget to please raise your hand. Okay, I know that you want to tell an answer, but remember to raise your hand so you don't shout out. Number four, Dad gets me a hat. Dad gets me a blank hat. Helen? No. Jordan? What did you say? A red hat? Yeah, you could say red hat or even funny hat. If you didn't already use funny or tan, a tan hat. Okay, tan is like a brownish color, so you want to make sure it makes sense. Okay. All right. Good. Let's go on to the next page, page 62. We have consonants, Q, U, and Z. It just says to name each picture. Think of the beginning sound, right? Q, U, or Z. So this one should be pretty easy. Number one, what is that a picture of? Adam? A queen. Queen starts with a Q, U. So you're going to write Q, U. Number two, what is that a picture of? Jordan? Zebra. That starts with a Z. Make sure to use lowercase letters. So all of your letters should stay below this little midline right here because they are lowercase letters. They should not go up to the top of the line. What about number three? What is that a picture of? Logan? It's like a blanket, but remember it has to start with Q, U, or Z. Owen? Quilts is Q U. Quilts. What about number four, Amelia? Zipper is Z. Zip, zip, zipper. Number five. What is that, Mason? Zero is Z. Very good. And what about number six? Christian K? Question mark, which is Q-U. Good. All right. Good. We're going to keep going. On page 63, you can put a cross X through it carefully. And then you're going to turn it to page 64. 64, this page is very easy. We do one of these every week. It says spelling words with the short U sound. Write the missing letter to complete each spelling word and then write the word. So you're going to first go through and add all the missing letters. What letter is missing in all of these words? Mason? U. Good. So go through and add the U. Then you can go through and write the words on the line. So we have nut. Mud. Try to use your very best handwriting. Mud. Up. Tub. And hug. All right, virtual learners, that is all that we have for reading today.